Hi everyone, this is Crash Me Twice and today I share with you on how I made a mounting solution for my Winwing Orion Viper F16 EX throttle combo. We'll have to make a plate for the front and the rear or front and rear so we can mount this to a T-Saw profile. And that's what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna make gonna measure this all out how much I need and I thought of making just a, a small kind of a plate in the front and a small kind of plate in the rear so what I would like to do is here's the base and we're gonna make a plate which goes like this and a plate which goes like this and we're gonna put I'm going to put two holes in here and two holes in here to mount it to a T-slot profile. This will be mounted to that, this mounted to this, and then we're going to put the detent assembly on top of it. So, shouldn't be too complicated. I'm going to make this plate for here offset to the amount of the thickness of the case. This way it's all flat and when I tighten it down I don't break this edge off. Okay, now I'm gonna see you on the vise first because we gotta cut a piece of uh, aluminum and then uh, we do some milling. I marked that aluminum 6061 plate we have to cut it first lengthwise and then widthwise. I do this because otherwise I do not have a way of clamping it into the vise for cutting it widthwise. So always lengthwise first, widthwise last. If you have extra, because if I clamp this part in here and cut it in the center, it will fall out or it will clamp together and I can't keep sewing. So let's cut this piece till here and then we're going to readjust a little bit and then we cut it off. This way I have two pieces here for our wind wing throttle base mount. And I'm also going to add some cutting fluid. This helps for the, for the saw blade so it doesn't clog up this quickly. Let's see how that goes. Here we go. So now I'm gonna readjust this part as far out as I can so that I have room for my saw. Like so. That's where a good vice comes handy. If it was a bad or a cheap vice like I had before, it would have probably cracked by now. But this one holds it solid. Let's put a little bit of cutting fluid on here. Get our cable out of the way because we don't want to cut through that. And now we're going to cut it that way. Alrighty. Smooth as butter. And here are two pieces and we're going to put them in the mill and square them up and take some off from the top here or from the width. I want it to be 46 millimeter on both of those plates. Perfect. And here it is. And now we're gonna have to square it off on each side. Looking good. Now I'm going to bring over the D template assembly. We're going to have it the same length as that one is. 
Just trying to make sure that they got that right. Yep, that looks good. I marked where I need to go. So the bottom part of the, or the foot part of that case, which needs to be mounted, is uh, three millimeter thick and uh, I believe 40 millimeter wide. Uh, we now will be recessing we're taking off three millimeter and make that a slot or a step down so we can put that plate like this onto the casing and this section will be flush with the section of the case. Okay, one more comparison. Perfect. That is perfect. That's like, I don't feel any difference between the base plate and the uh, aluminum. So we go on that one. Next side, other side. Next part here. So I'm gonna make this and then I'm gonna be back. All turns out that one end of the base is higher than the other. So here's our plate and I made the other one as well and I can show you here this one fits nicely between the rail it's just clamped in so there's no play or anything it's just clamped in with that rail from wind wing and when I wanted to put this rail on this side which I marked R as rear. It just didn't want to do it. Okay. So this part is thicker than on the other side. So once I put my plate on here, I cannot squeeze the rail in between. Like on this side, as I intended to do. So what I may have to do is trim that rail in this section here down a little bit to fit under it. And that's what I'm going to do next. So I just scraped it a little bit right here. This is what I have to take off. And that should do it here. I'm gonna degrade this here, sand it down a little bit, just in this area. Okay, so have you have degraded that and so cleaned the edges up, it's all smooth. And it fits now. So that, that's about um, 0 0.3 millimeter in depth, which I took off here. So next step is then uh, getting this all measured for drilling. And then we'll draw it out and then we we'll see that we can install it. I marked my holes. And now I'm gonna drill those. Here's the bar we just drilled. This is the slotted bar from the wind wing detent assembly. This goes on to our base in the rear like this. This goes on top. So we're gonna drill. That hole will be marked through. And the other one We don't have to worry about it because there goes a floating lot in there, in that cage. Okay, on this side I already have it installed. I kind of sunk that screw, I kind of sunk that one. And this is how it looks. 
we have one through so that I can mount eventually a different bolt and longer bolt in here and make a stand up and mount something on top here if I wanted to and for that I wanted to have some sort of a support on this side and then I can use those two screws because then anyway, inside here is nothing but plastic and a couple uh, of those square nuts. I marked R for rear. So the first thing we're going to do is chamfer those two holes. And we're going to chamfer one hole deep for M5, which is this one here. Let's see how that goes. If it matches and lines up. So you can see it. Alright. See if that's large enough. Yes it is. Just an M4. Line those up. Now we're gonna get a M4 20, probably a 12 or 16, something like that. I think I have one out. I thought I did, but oh yeah, here it is. Change that bit over. And that should be fitting just fine. Here we go, let's tighten this up. And here we are. Okay, so I marked the holes for the T-slot profile on both of them, the front and the rear. And they're gonna drill those out and then I'm gonna have a very quickly assembly. Okay, so I drilled those holes out. As you can see here, these are holes for M8 bolts. And here we go. Now assembly on this. And that's in. And here we go. I think we're good to go here. So that's what we did here. We have three holes, even so I just use a 4080, but if I should use a 4120, I can do that. I also be able to move the T-slots from the outside to the center, because the, the distance between is 40 millimeter. And same for the top here. So, we are ready to go here to install the D-template, and then we go from there. It in. And let's see how it aligns. All right, we have to come down a little bit because we added these uh, about 2.7 millimeter to that, and that's what's missing here. So I'm gonna adjust the bottom brace instead of the top brace because that's why it looks nice. All right, so it's loose now, you can see that. Nice and tight. We don't have to worry about anything because if we do break an out, we always can get another one. So I'm tightening it nicely down so it doesn't shift me anymore. All right, I think we're good to go on this, this side here and on that side. 
and also USB seems to fit now. Perfect, great. Now I solved this mounting problem. So I'm using again M4 here, countersunk, M5 here, countersunk. It feels very stable, so there's no go or anything. But we just can hold it on this one here now. The antenna works fine with my thumb here. So, yep. As I said, next is install it into the SimPit and try it out in ED or maybe with the Viper. I have to still buy it. It's a, it's a chunk. It's 80 bucks for that Viper module, but you know, just for trying it out. Okay. And that's it for today. Next time I'm going to install the throttle combo into my office input and that video is coming soon. Please subscribe to my channel so you don't miss it. Don't forget to check out my Discord channel and visit my website at crashmetwice.com for more info on this and other projects. And if you would like to support this channel, you can buy me a nice cup of coffee from the link below or on my website. I hope you all enjoyed this video and I hope I earned a like from you. Crash me twice, out.